Apple is one of the most appealing electronic brands in the world. They are known for their mobile phones and computer accessories. Still, it seems Steve Jobs' founded company finally decided to venture into the already crowded automobile industry. The Apple Electric Car, project codename Titan, is expected to be one of the most technologically advanced cars ever made. What do we know about the Apple Car? The late Apple co-founder Steve Jobs was said to be thinking about the company's involvement in the automotive industry way back in 2008, the era of the iPhone 3G. Fast forward a few years and the Project Titan name begins to get thrown around, an Apple project destined to bring autonomous transport to life. Because in 2016, rumors had it that Project Titan was getting axed. After major staffing changes and leadership issues, the project remains in operation today with John Gianandrea at the wheel, Apple's artificial intelligence and machine learning chief. When will the Apple car join our roads? Reuters expects this to be as soon as 2024, while renowned Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo expects 2025 to 2027 to be a more realistic deadline. Others write off this entire decade before we are likely to see any substance. Domains purchased by the company suggest that it is certainly in the pipeline, namely Apple.car, Apple.cars and Apple.auto. Critics exclaim that these, though, could be more closely related to its ventures into current car software with CarPlay. What the car will look like is as much your guess as it is ours. But it wasn't until September 2017 that a Business Insider report indicated some of the car's key features. The interior would resemble a lounge, without any sign of steering wheel or pedals, rendering the car completely autonomous. This coincides with CNBC's claim that the first Apple car will be driverless and destined for use in delivery services and robo-taxi operations. Automatic doors would open and close silently, while virtual or augmented reality would be built into the displays, we're told, for entertainment purposes. This level of distraction suggests there would be zero driver involvement. Refinements would be made to the sensor modules, such as the clunky LiDAR sensors currently used by auto manufacturers, while spherical wheels would allow the car to drive sideways. Boasting some of the strongest software, processing hardware and artificial intelligence algorithms of any tech company, Apple is already making good progress for a fully self-driving vehicle. What the company lacks is the hardware to make this a reality. Early 2021 has been plagued with rumours of a partnership with Hyundai or Kia, sister companies with an extensive track record for making reliable cars. And however, neither company is as experienced with EVs as Nissan, whose leaf hit the mass market by storm over a decade ago, another company collaborating with Cupertino. Apple isn't ashamed to borrow and learn from others. A partnership with Volkswagen has been struck to modify the T6 transporter for use as a self-driving shuttle vehicle for employees on its campus. While the hardware is essentially undecided, Apple is not letting this hold it back. Borrowing from others, the company has been running a fleet of 62 self-driving vehicles and 87 drivers to gather data in anticipation for an increase in pace on the project. Almost unwritten, yet implied in every mention of Project Titan, are the eco-credentials of the Apple car. As an electric car, it will have to push the boundaries of current technology and introduce faster ranges and larger capacities. As revolutionary as the iPhone when it launched, the company is said to be working on a new type of monocell battery. This design should allow individual cells to bulk up while freeing space inside the battery pack, thus increasing its energy density. Although the design has been publicly criticised by Tesla CEO Elon Musk as electrochemically impossible, we can say for certain that Apple is working on some sort of technology to increase the efficiency of batteries. Patent 20180017344, for example, determines optimal comfort conditions that optimise the perceived temperatures of various occupant body parts and maintain various climate characteristics within one or more sets of thresholds. Another patent refers to lighting systems of vehicle seats. It describes fibre-connected LEDs and OLEDs which interlace in such a way that their source is concealed. These could be used as in-car displays mounted on interior panels and display messages such as seatbelt reminders. Although this sounds like an unrealistic speculation, it indicates the active interest of Project Titan's research and development department. In December 2018, Tesla's senior designer Andrew Kim joined the company. Apple has also reportedly employed Doug Betts, a car industry veteran with a quarter of a decade of experience at Nissan, Toyota and Fiat Chrysler automobiles. Guessing the car's technology is hard work, but it is possible thanks to analysing each and every move the company makes.